Welcome to the MSI channel where I try to resurrect an old MSI 8080 computer. Alright, so we have the card out and we have our secret weapon. Our secret weapon, hopefully you can see that, is a pink pearl eraser. Let me, uh, let me zoom in on his thing. Pink pearl. Make sure you get a pink pearl. I don't know. All the engineers I know from the way back days uh, all used uh, the standard pink pearl eraser. And you just want to rub it on the connector until it goes bright. Uh, it'll be a bit messy. It'll leave some little rubber bits behind. Just make sure you sweep those away. But get in here and Make sure those contacts are nice and shiny. You don't want to do this too often. You'll rub the rub the gold plating off of the off of those connectors. But I figure once every thirty years can't hurt. All right, and we have some alcohol on some try to use some uh, towels that don't have uh, lint That looks very nice. And we'll do the other side. I think you get the idea. I'm just finishing up on uh, putting this plate back in and all these tiny screws. Of course, I can't find the last. Can't find the last screw. It's probably on the floor. Anyway, uh, I'll find that screw. We'll put it together and uh, put it back in the uh, put it back in the box. Okay, I did find the screw, and we are ready to put it back together. Right, I did find the little missing screw, it was on the floor, and we are ready to try to put back together. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use some contact cleaner uh, just to make sure. And we will put it back together. Sound good. All right. I added a uh, connector on this board. The original M size had it soldered in. Uh, this is the AC lines, and I put a connector there to make it easier to take the board in and out. And I think we are ready. I'm trying to screw this back in.
this is not as easy as taking it apart. I have to get the screws to bite. There are some captured nuts on the sheet metal and you need to get those screws to catch. Success. All right. Why don't we get another card and uh, get our CPU card and clean it and uh, see what happens.